What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and today I have a video for you level 65 plus folks and I have not seen a guide on this. I even tried to search in Korean and so I actually worked with some folks on our server to actually you know figure out what exactly what we had to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's not going to be a quick tip today. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'll show you guys about this request that you get after you hit 65 and you go a little bit into the story you need to unlock heaven's way when you unlock heaven's way you'll get heaven's way peak mid level and this is where we start getting the the request to continue to get the rest of our inner force so what is what does that mean our training in inner force you see there's three locked books in here or manuals the next one after nine yang is going to be violent mist and Violet Mist is unlocked via this request this request that uh, I started doing yesterday and what happened was I joined up with some folks and I'll talk about it as we go along and we kind of figured it out so under requests under the Heaven's Way peak mid level you're first gonna see this inner chi it's gonna be locked inner chi one is gonna be locked it's gonna if you click on it It'll give you a hint to do a mission. And the mission is in, I believe, Snake Lab 4F. Yes. It's this Marshall Pro Progenitor's Descendant. All right. So, this is the first difficult thing. You get this request, you click on it, it tells you to go look for something in the abandoned mine to get hints. It tells you to kill the unique monsters. Well, We've had people do that and you get no hints or no nothing. So there's probably some, you know, translation issues there. But we actually tracked it down. And so let me go ahead and show you guys what you need to do. Once you get this quest, you go to the Snake Lab 4F. So what you want to do in the Snake Lab 4F is you want to go to this room right here. I don't, I don't really want to go down there because, man, I already got no reason to. I end up aggroing some bosses and stuff. I don't feel like doing dealing with that. For whatever reason, the aggro on these bosses lasts like for multiple rooms. It's kind of crazy. By the way, in here is the, like the little worm grub looking things. There's probably some other ones somewhere, but we killed a lot of stuff over on this side and made our way all the way down into this little room. And that's what ended up giving us the kills. We had a full group of five. You need strong folks to do this. Keep that in mind. Those mobs are like level 80 something. And so it took us a while. But we did it. We get, we killed these 60 or 650. I believe that's what it was. Uh, this one right here. All right. Uh, don't tell me, but it was 650 of those mobs. Again, it doesn't tell you where it's at, anything like that. It does tell you here the location, and so that's how we kind of just went there and just started killing stuff until we found it. And you definitely don't want to do that solo. I, I tell you right now, you want a nice, decent group with you. But all you know. That being said, this can be done at level 65 plus. I'm assuming you got a full group of level 65. It might be a little bit difficult. You know, we had a range up to like 70 or something like that. And so that's my high power score. So you just want to be careful. But overall, I mean, you should be able to do this with a nice, you know, a decent team of five. You want at least probably a couple uh, towels in there. So once you complete that then you can go to the request and it's gonna you know it, you can't auto move to it it's gonna it's not gonna have auto move it says auto move unavailable so you have to go find the npc so you know what i'm gonna show you where to go for that you guys man if you guys are watching my channel i feel like you guys should really show me some love for this one because I'm sure some people want this to be kept a secret. You know, some clans trying to get stronger than other clans and things like that. I'm not that kind of person. You know, I'm here. Enjoy the game. Share the content. If you're mad at me, I'm sorry. You know, we, we're just out here to have a good time. If, if you want to, if, if you're trying to have some kind of edge or something, man, just use it. Tactical advantage. Like, you know, get good at the PvP. And, you know, not try to block people from being able to do stuff in the game. So, let's go to Spiritual Center. Heaven's Way Peak, and you're gonna go to the mid level. And let me double check my map here, cause I, you know, I recorded all this stuff down to make sure I knew what I was doing. And where is the? It's right here. Okay. So the NPC is right up here, off on the ledge. You gotta jump and fly from here. So let's go ahead and go. 
I'm going to just show you. I'm going to show you exactly where to go. And I'm going to show you exactly where to solve the thing. And this is after me and some other folks searched and searched and searched. And we found some cool stuff along the way. But we're not going to talk about that. Well, we're going to show you. I'm just going to show you how to do this. I hope you guys appreciate it. Show me some love. Look, if you appreciate this, it's saving you some time. Hit that like button. And you know what? Put a comment. Let me know how much you appreciate it. You know, this is what I'm trying to be about. I'm trying to bring you guys the content, trying to bring you guys the tips, everything you need to know. All right, so as you can see here, we ran up to this spot right here. And here's our little dude over here. What's he called? No sale, no sale, no sale, something like that. And you're just gonna fly over to him. And boom, you get the request. It's gonna tell you, discover the hidden tomb box. And when you click on that request, it's gonna say, go to Red Moon, lab or, or i forget one of the red moon locations to find the clue but if you look at the request it tells you which map it's on so it's going to tell you it's on the upper level now this was probably even the harder one we had people searching all over the map i was all over the place jumping up there's so much to explore on this map like there's so many places to jump and and, and fly it took a while and we found some interesting stuff along the way but what you want to do is you want to go right down here. All right, so I went ahead and I ran to this spot down here. So once you're down here, you're going to see this portal. And what you actually need to do is get up over here. And it's actually like an invisible wall blocking some of this. So you just need to kind of jump from here. And you can just fly over there just to be sure. And land over here. Come on this little rock. And you're going to jump up to this rock. Look at that. Got a nice little red energy node up there. I like the fact that in these new maps you can find uh, a lot of red nodes. All right, now you're gonna jump across here. Oh no, I'm about to die. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, let's try this one more time. I don't know why I'm having trouble jumping over this rock. So we're just gonna go from right here, double jump up onto the ledge. I think you probably could have came up this little side here. There's probably a couple different ways to go. This is just the way I know how to do it. You come up here. And when you have the request, the hidden tomb box is going to be sitting right here for you to get. So, you know what? I really hope you guys appreciate this. I, you know, the, the Multiple things in here that would have taken quite a long time for some folks to do. It took us a while. So, I do hope you appreciate it. Now, next up, you're going to have the request for the boss. So, you need to be able to defeat the Leader's Chamber 3 or F boss. From what I hear at this point, and I might have to correct this by the time I finish making this video, is that um, you should do it in a party of 15. Not 100% sure on that, but I know some folks tried parties of five. It wasn't working right. So keep that in mind. And on the uh, boss, like, so you do have to enter 4F. You need probably about six or seven people at least um, to try to help you with that. And it is a level 85 boss. Keep that in mind. So like I say, if you just have this group of like 65 only, probably going to be a little bit tougher. But it should still be doable. Either way, once you do that, you will get the last uh, piece. You get volume 2 to the manual. And you will have the uh, that manual unlocked. So, I'm not sure if I, if I don't stick... If, I'm going to go ahead and do a little outro here. Like So if, if I get the boss in and I, and I manage to record it, I'll put that in. Otherwise... I do hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I mean, it is just killing the boss, literally. So, I, I hope you do. And, you know, you're enjoying the content. And appreciate the fact that I'm trying to bring you good information uh, before everyone, anyone else. And that's my goal here. I'm trying to explore the content in the game. And let you guys know what the deal is. So, once you have retrieved the hidden tomb box, you will finish off that request, this inner chi 1. And you'll get the first part of the manual. So for the second part of the manual, you will have to get a group together and defeat the leaders chamber three in Magic Square 4F. It's not, you know, not the easiest thing, but, you know, also still quite doable. Um, but it is level 85, so keep that in mind. You'll need some decent people on it. And as far as I know, I believe you need a 15 man party uh, for everyone to get the quest. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I do know there was some difficult, some folks had difficulty with the five man party. Only one person had got it out of the party. Um, so 
keep that in mind uh, wh what I will do though is once I if I can get some con actual hard confirmation and uh, you know if if I'll either stick into this video at this point either way, I would probably redone this outro but you know I'll have in the video the actual boss fight so you can see that if not then just know I will put in the you know pin comment or description or something somewhere uh, of what I can figure out what those actual requirements are for you guys but either way I mean this is it you, just, you beat this then you get the second part of the manual and then you unlock the inner force all right guys so I figured I'll show you the last little bit of this boss fight this is the one you gotta fight and we probably shouldn't have went in here with just four people but we did and you know what we're almost done so let's just hope we can go ahead and finish this bad boy off this joker is so hard I've died quite a few times but it's okay uh, come on Ooh, get some hits in the last 80,000 here so once we do this it should give us that inner force I can show you guys what that looks like just trying to chip away and not get hit by some of the stuff he does is is he put on the shield when he puts on the shield it does a lot of damage and then if I don't have my dodge ready when he does some of these like right there if you would have been near that I, I die most of the time or some of the time so while he's on my dude here we're gonna try to get some lick oh now he's on me okay See, I don't want to get hit by that, so I gotta make sure I always got to dodge if I'm gonna do some attacking. I'm gonna wait until I got my dodge in, or wait till you aggro's on someone else, get some more licks in. You definitely want to do this for more people, but at the end of the day, it's doable. I don't even know if we're doing it for anything because I don't think we can actually advance that inner force until we get further along the line because of some of the materials we need. But I'll show you all that in just a bit. Woo! he's going to rage on that slam oh there we go okay man okay well that was a pain but we got our last thing here we claim that and we now have uh we can tome train this unlock it and there you go this is the violet mist art tier one it has this the sun stun stun success boost stun resistance boost debilitation success and debilitation resistance and these of course you all use not only the the, the epic pills but also uses the um this oil which we can't really even make it so there you have it this is what you work through to unlock maybe it's not worth unlocking until you get a little further along but i did it you know how to do it. If you're trying to be first on your server, this is how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Put some comments down below. Let me know what else you want to see. I thank you guys for all the support. And per usual, I'll catch you in the next one.